Have you ever been nervous to talk to or interact with someone? We all have. In communication studies, that's called communication apprehension. And communication apprehension can be defined as an individual's level of fear or anxiety associated with either real or anticipated communication with another person or persons. And it's actually often related to underdeveloped communication skills. So the good news is, is the more that we develop our communication skills, that helps to reduce communication uh, anxiety and apprehension. So there are several causes for communication apprehension. Um, there's the fear of uh, rejection and failure. There's the fear of breaking the rules, the fear of the unknown, and the fear of the spotlight or like judgment, people judging you. Uh, there are several techniques that we can utilize in order to reduce communication apprehension. So the overall concept is um, relax, rethink, and revision. So when we have communication ap anxiety or apprehension, we can actually have a fight or flight response. So our bodies can um, react as though we're in mortal danger. So one thing that we can do is work to calm our bodies down. So when we calm our body down, then it helps us to uh, calm down internally. So there are several relaxation techniques that are available to you, and a few of them are just um, deep breathing. Deep breathing actually causes a physiological response, a change in your body. It signals your body to um, reduce the flight or flight response. So, um, also you can tense your muscles and relax them and tense them and relax them, tense them and relax them, and that helps discharge some of that anxious energy that's in the body. Um, so that's relax rethink. So part of communication apprehension is we have negative thoughts that are just spiraling in our mind. So in just like with all self-communication, the goal is to be mindful of that and have a little bit more control or say so about the thoughts that we're having. So instead of the negative thoughts that are running through our mind, we can purposefully replace them with some positive messages. So like a mantra. So we're restructuring, uh, it's called cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring is having a positive message that we purpose, purposefully repeat. For example, um, I know my material or the class wants me to do well in this speech. Or um, you, if you're just like anxious about talking to just one other person, you can do this. Or, you know, anything just that helps you feel more positive about the interaction. If you can repeat that in your head, it helps to retrain your, um, to reduce your anxiety by retraining your thought process. process. So if we relax our physical body and retrain our thought process, the next step is visualization, so revision. So we're gonna do a positive visualization. In other words, whatever you're anxious about, instead of imagining going wrong, which is what most of us do, we imagine things going very badly, then to purposefully imagine things going well. So we talked about the self-fulfilling prophecy, whereas if you imagine things going wrong, then they tend to go in that direction. In other words, a self-fulfilling prophecy means your thought patterns about what is going to happen actually lays a map and a plan for what does happen. So we can actually use that in our favor and visualize things going well. So for example, um, I minored in Spanish in college and it was I never had Spanish before it was a lot of Spanish all at once and the tests were really hard and I would imagine forgetting everything and imagine doing poorly on the tests but and then that's what happened so 
I started utilizing this technique of positive visualization and thought to myself and imagined I remember all of the vocabulary. I remember all of the conjugations of all of the verbs. I will understand all of the directions in Spanish. And then I did do substantially better on the tests. So that's an example of how to put it into practice. Um, there's also underneath this video a link to a self-assessment of communication apprehension. Sometimes we have apprehension and we've lived with it for so long we're not really aware of it. So it's a if you feel like it, it's a good way to be mindful of the anxiety that you're carrying with you.